Hi, today we are visiting Howard Furnace Cemetery in Vernon Township, Scioto County, Ohio. And Howard Furnace Cemetery is on private property. We've obtained permission from the owners to visit and document this cemetery. It's adjacent to the former charcoal furnace, the iron furnace called Howard Furnace. It's on the adjacent hillside, so right across there was this blast furnace, or rather charcoal furnace. That's not the reason we're visiting today. So as part of our project to document all the cemeteries, we want to make sure that we get out and accurately document them, including GPS coordinates for not just the cemetery, but the burial, but also document it conditions as it is. Briefly, we spoke with the property owner and he said about 20 years ago there had been some vandalism and uh, but he did note that there were some older burials here and we've already went through and photographed the headstones that we were able to find and taken 360 degree photographs uh, throughout the cemetery so we can document the arrangement but as is the case for a lot of real cemeteries there's varying degrees of dilapidation. Now, as you can see here, we have a slot of base stone with the marble tablet that's broken. And then we have another marble stone here. In the mid foreground, we have another uh, marble marker that's broken. And all these are in a generally straight line on the east facing side of this hillside. That one's broken at the tablet, so we're not able to document who that is. But this one is for a Jesse May, daughter of Thomas, and it looks like E.M. Wilpatrick or Kilpatrick. Maybe Kilpatrick. We're walking up this way. We have another marble marker. It's broken the halfway up. No inscription is legible. But we do have over here a footstone with the initials A E N. And next to it, we have what would have been a pinned base, which doesn't line up at all with either of these markers. So that's more like your, for your statuary or obelisk markers, it doesn't line up with these tablets, a lot of base style. So that's most likely for another headstone. Over here, we have a field stone right next to it. We'll go back up to this ridge line. And here we have more recent burial and it is rebar and cement that's been painted and then a man if you would flip this over it looks like a wood board attached to it has been so that's framed in wood covered in glass and then it's sheet metal written in looks like paint pen for Norma Jean Horner, uh, who was born March 4th, 1940, and then died March 13th. So that one had been previously documented, if you want to flip that back over. Um, in general, we always want to leave things the way we found them. We don't know why they were placed that way, but uh, we just want to leave it in the condition we found it. Here we have a row of field stones. These are all east facing. Uh, for the most part, they have foot, headstones and footstones. And they go in a straight line across. We weren't able to make out any inscriptions. But as we come towards the center, close to the center of the cemetery, we have this very large uh, locally quarried stone. You can see the stone carver's marks as they flatten the surface and then we have the initials 
P, B, and the date 1859. And there we have a footstone. We start to look down on the hillside and that green you see coming up. Uh, we have creeping myrtle. That's here. We have the yucca plants that are coming up right there in the center of the screen. We have this marble headstone. I mean, this is wood. Um, this headstone. Okay, that looks like Philip. Go ahead. Son of. It looks like E and M Carmen. And the date looks like December 8th, 1881. Aged one month, five days. Okay. And the epitaph is a bud on earth to bloom in heaven. Mm -hmm. Which is a pretty common epitaph for children. The leaf litter here is really thick, so we don't know if maybe the vandalism that was described, if that was, you know, headstones being rolled down the hill or maybe trees falling on headstones, as we'll see here in a minute. But headstones are kind of all over the place in different conditions. Here we have a government issue marker. Amanda, if you want to read this one. Um, George Keeney, Company F, 91st Ohio Infantry. Okay, so George Keeney, Company F, 91st Ohio Infantry. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have a nice open spot here. And we'll come down to the other government issue marker that we were able to locate. And Amanda was able to read. Moses Keeney, also Company F, 91st Ohio Infantry. Okay. And while you're here, you're able to find? Um, I found a Keeney, um, like a family history that was compiled that listed, I haven't found Moses on it, but I found George on it, and it lists his, his death being in this township and burial in Howard Furnace Cemetery. Okay, so there's a connection to it. Mm -hmm. Which is always good because Sometimes government issue markers don't always end up where the person was. Family just put them where they're convenient. So we're kind of making our way through here. Um, on that slope, there's a good bit of ground cavitation uh, that would indicate that there's burials that's really up and down. Uh, but what caught my eye over here was this tree very large tree had came down and when we first came through taking our photographs can make out this base and this marble plinth and then underneath was this obelisk and when we found it it was down and covered but the bottom of it was stuck up so we, we were able to lift it and uncover the face and Amanda if you would read this. Okay. Ms. Francis, wife of Thomas Regal, died December 2nd, 1879. And from what we can tell, she was 19 years, one month and 21 days old. So this column would have sat on top of that marble base, which would have sat on this sandstone base that's underneath this tree. We'll be careful as we come across here, but I believe we have another burial here. And here as well. Kind of make our way through these down limbs. And then it's really hard to tell that this is just all really lumpy bumpy. And 
until we get to the very point. Here we have a nice moss covered area. You can normally see with burials. We have this chain link fence enclosure, which is a recent construction. We have irises, it looks like we have a rose bush. And then we have a granite marker for Ephraim Campbell, who was born about 1894 and died about 1941. His epitaph reads, may his soul rest in Christ. So that is the most recent burial that we've seen here. May not be the most recent, but it's the most recently marked. And from here, if we continue past, uh, we see the old trail that would have came up the hillside. That's not the way we came in. Uh, we walked all the way around the hillside here and up. So you can imagine that would have been the trail the wider trail that probably would have carried everyone here but we are at Howard Furnace Cemetery in Vernon Township Scioto County Ohio really appreciate you all coming out with us today thanks